guys that I am, here's our lupulu. Just make sure that you stir from the bottom because uh, we had the loo from the bottom. So it looks so delicious, y'all. I wish you could smell it from here. But uh, I'm gonna bring this to you in a moment. Kind of reminds uh, the taste. I think falls within a um, green bean, but mostly I think uh, asparagus, like an asparagus. But uh, there's the the stem of the leaf. Okay, we'll bring this to you in a mukbang. See you in a little bit. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here today. Hope everyone is doing great out there. Today I've got Lu Pulu and I made it in a pan. And I have pork chops as you saw in the video showing how I made it. Before we begin, I'd like to go ahead and bless the food. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Please bless it that may nourish our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So what I've got here is Lu Pumu. And this was um, corn, and this was made with the corned beef from Brazil. So this is, uh, it was like $3.88 for the can of corned beef. So it's very affordable. A lot of times we feel like we have to just use um, the expensive kind, the one from New Zealand, and, which is the best kind. It's the one from New Zealand and the one from Australia. But uh, I just wanted to show you that there's other ways of making um, Kibulu defensive cans. All right, let's go ahead and dig in. Cheers, this is a uh, lemonade. Oh man, that's so refreshing. All right, so we're with the pork chop here. Hope everyone is doing great out there. Guys, Polynesian food, and 
actually all kinds. My literally my favorite foods is Polynesian and um, Indian. I love Indian food. She tried to make it just so she can see what the hype is all about. And she said it wasn't all that. <laughs> but um, I think it's all in the flavor that you put in, you know, um, all in the seasoning. So you got to season it really well so because it still needs to be flavored. I didn't lay, I laid the corned beef first, but if you end up everything's all cooked up, you just mix it, it's all going to get mixed, mixed together. I, I love my lemonade because it's so icy cold. I, I put it really, really cold in the fridge. Definitely the affordable way of making the bulu. And um, $3.88, you can't beat that compared to a, an Oxford. And like I said on my, my cooking video, um, the, the $9.99 corned beef, almost the same size as the corn, that one, almost $10.9.99. And this one from Brazil was only three dollars and eighty-eight cents. And I'm telling you, it it tastes good. It tastes really, really good. And then, you know how you have some corned beef that are so dry. Um, this brand is not dry at all. It's actually really good. What I did was sprinkle spring onions on top of the loo just for um, just for presentation. 
progress on this rap, but it's coming soon. I got time on hand, about to make a move to the top of the world in the beam. I don't want to be the one you ain't dream of. Break it down on me, no claim. Uh. Shotty bears, she making the cash, gotta relax and keep it going for the last of the last. I'm on blast with that brand. I don't know if you guys, some of you guys, I know, I know a lot of my. I know a few of you guys are not Polynesians, and so um, just to let you know what a breadfruit is, uh, this is a breadfruit, and I'll show you a picture. It can be as big as this big, but this is a pretty big breadfruit, a piece of breadfruit right here. It's pretty big. And uh, I know a lot of you guys from South America um, probably already know about breadfruit, um, but uh, it, it grows on trees. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. very delicious um my sister used to live my older sister she used to live in Latvia, and um she she lived with her in-laws which they lived on a plantation and that was the first time i've ever seen her um i've ever seen breadfruit being made can in half or the coconut can and they use that to scrape the outside of the vegetable, like the breadfruit. They use that to peel, to scrape the out outer part of it. That was the first time I've ever seen that done, was in my ear. And, um, and then you see, I, I see that a lot being done on the, on the uh, poly tunes and videos of uh, a, lot, a lot of Samoan channels who use the, the can to scrape. And I, I think it's like the easiest way to, to not get as much of the meat um, as you would if you use the knife. But, yeah, very delicious. Very, um, I would compare the the breadfruit, for those of you who have not tasted a breadfruit before, it, it is very meaty, very meaty. Um, it's almost like a yam. Uh, I would say the texture of it, almost like a yam. And uh, so good. It's, it's so good. Um, it's just really flavorful. And when you add the coconut milk into it, ooh, it takes it to another level. definitely use this with spinach um, that I, I don't find the difference in the taste you can really taste 
the flavors in there. So good. I wanted to show you we have. Um, I wanted to show you what the stem looks like. So the stem. I wanted to go to Hawaii this, uh, this week, which because I'm on vacation right now, but I um, decided not to go because we have a family reunion coming up. And uh, you guys, I just want to take this time to thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for supporting my channel. It's been such a great journey um, to get to this point. I think that I just have a couple of more before I reach a thousand and I am just so ecstatic. I'm just overwhelmed and because, uh, because of you guys, I'm so humbled and blessed. You know, you've become a part of my my YouTube family, you're part of the family while watching my videos and and it's just been so exciting. I'm trying to think of the first time I the first time I time I did finally um, or the courage to start my YouTube channel. So if you watch my earlier um, my earlier videos, it shows how I really focus on um, that positive uh, a celebrity who is a positive influence to many people. I started it with that. And then as the time went on, went on, I just really um, wanted to you guys to understand the person that I was, where I came from, and and that's where it's been a great ride. It's been, it's been a great journey to be in YouTube, and um, forward to many more years to come. Yeah, this is so, this is so delicious. Um, if you haven't tried, um, I had run out of coconut milk. And so I had one can of coconut milk. And so I improvised with uh, mayonnaise and half and half milk, which gave the corned beef um, some moisture and uh, it was good. Um, but uh, adding that, the mayonnaise and the half and half to the coconut milk um, just uh, helped it do the job that the coconut milk would have been able to do, which was to just moisten the taro leaf and the corned beef. So uh, that's an easy way to, to make lupulu. It's just mixing all the corned beef and the and the tomato and the onions together and then pour the coconut milk in there and then you can even do that individually too i do have a video that shows how i make the traditional um, lupulu so check it out if you want to take a look at it this is the pan lu so Okay, you guys, such a great meal. I know I, it doesn't look like I put a dent in it, but I did on the side of it. Right here, I made a dent on the side. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support uh, for my channel. I hope you guys have a great night. Stay blessed. And we will see you soon on the next video. Ofalahiyatu. Love you guys.